in the previous video or previous lecture we have we, we studied about the law of decay disintegration radioactivity law and also the half life half life we have got the equation half life capital t is equal to half life is it is integrated by capital t is equals to 0.693 divided by lambda and in the previous chapter i have told you about the significance of the half life significance of the half life is if try to understand if the half life of the isotope is more yav the isotope the half life h edak thodri a isotope h stable irutada so if the half life of the isotope is more more stable is the isotope so this is what the significance is and today we will go for today we will go for the mean life mean life that is denoted by letter tau mean life that is denoted by the letter tau this mean life can be defined as it is the ratio of sum of all the uh, sum of lives of all the individual atoms or you can say nuclei ella new ella lives and ella nuclei life and new add mark divided by number of uh, nuclei maadi vera paathu that is gives the mean life so mean life it is a ratio of i will mention here and just write the mathematical equation tau is equals to sum of sum of lives of all the nuclei present in the sample divided by number of number of nuclei in the sample number of active nuclei in the sample so this is what the definition is you can construct the definition idu nodidara nimu gottagutte idu divided by idu idu line eight pa andre we have to mention here ratio right so it is the ratio of ratio of sum of lives of sum of lives of all the nuclei to the number of nuclei in the sample active nuclei in the sample so this tau mathematically can be given by tau is equals to tau is equal to mathematically can be given by can be given by <coughs> tau is equals to 1 divided by n not integration integration t so here mathematically can be given as mathematically can be given as tau is equals to 1 by n not integration t dn in the under the limit 0 to n not 0 to n not so this is what the mathematical equation mathematical equation for the mean line now uh, let me call this as equation number 1 Let me call this as equation number one. Here, uh, D N, we have equation D N is equals to from the D K law. We can write D N divided by D T is equals to D N divided by D T is equals to minus lambda T. We we know this minus lambda T L minus lambda L. We know this. Right now we can write D N is equals to minus lambda L D. Minus lambda n d. Now d n under the number three minus lambda n multiply by d. Now substitute this value here. Substitute this value here. Now we will get tau is equals to tau is equals to one divided by n naught integration zero to n naught t d n in the end we have to replace this value. Right? D n in the end we have to replace minus n minus lambda n d. So minus lambda n d minus lambda n d. Now furthermore, furthermore from the equation of radioactive law, we have got the equation n is equals to. Now we you know the equation is equal to n is equals to n not e raised to minus lambda. N. So replace this n. N on the other side. So tau is equals to one divided by n not integration zero to n not. 0 to n naught minus lambda minus t lambda n with the label n naught e raised to minus lambda t d minus lambda t d <coughs> right now uh, here eager integration with respect to t mana kathiyo 
we are integrating with respect to t but we have the limits in terms of n namage limits enu davu in terms of n allow so let us change that let us change that limit n not at n not t is equal to 0 and at n equal to 0 t is infinite means integration dt is the limit integration dt so we have to replace the limits 0 is the now 0 is the now n not hak beku and uh, n not is the 0 hak beku and 0 is the now t infinity hak beku so let us replace that limits and write the equation so tau is equals to 1 by n not integration so 0 is the now 0 is the infinity hak beku t is equal to infinity to n not is the now hak beku 0 hak beku that is minus t minus lambda n not e raised to minus lambda t dt minus e raised to minus lambda t dt now <coughs> negative sign if i remove this negative sign then limits will reverse limit in after reverse after that is infinity will go in the upward and lower limit then it becomes t lambda n not e raised to minus lambda t dt e raised to lambda t dt now what are the constant term we can take out here lambda n not are constant we have to constant other way parag tagad parag tagad yandre 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 i will do in this step itself or lambda t if i take out these two terms outside outside to one part other n not n not get cancelled what will remain here lambda under the limit 0 lambda under the limit 0 t e raised to minus is only three. so integration 0 to infinity t e raised to minus t dt only so the e raised to minus t dt only here integration two variables are there with respect to t two variables variables are there so integration of x y you have to do tau is equals to lambda <coughs> Uh, first function as it is, first function as it is integration of second function that is e raised to minus lambda t divided by minus lambda under the limit 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity, then minus integration 0 to infinity this thing minus lambda t divided by minus lambda. Right? So this bracket is complete bracket is completed now <clears throat> if you substitute if i apply the limit infinity and zero this term becomes zero e term is zero after that. so for that i am not writing this term directly i will go for tau is equals to i am multiplying lambda to this term minus lambda and minus lambda is there in the denominator i will take it as outside minus lambda then i will integrate this thing Integration of e raised to minus lambda t is e raised to minus lambda t whole divided by minus lambda under the limit 0 to infinity. 0 to infinity. Now here lambda lambda and minus minus get cancelled. After applying the limit, after applying the limit, 1 by minus 1 by lambda, I'll take it outside, I'll take it outside, then <coughs> inside the bracket it will be e raised to minus infinity because minus lambda multiplied by infinity is infinity then minus lower limit e raised to 0 e raised to 0 then this term e raised to minus infinity and rain right here e raised to minus infinity and rain actually tau is equals to minus 1 by lambda multiplied by e raised to minus infinity and 0 e raised to 0 and 1 so finally we will get the equation 1 by lambda so tau is equals to 1 by lambda tau is equals to 1 by lambda here also the mean life does not depends upon any numbers any nuclei numbers but it depends upon the integration constant or you can say disintegration constant dk constant as the dk constant increases mean life decreases right so this is what the derivation is take a screenshot it will be helpful for you so screenshot the worry now the other thing screenshot the worry and write the things
hope you have taken the uh, screenshot so this is regarding the mean line <clears throat> so now we have studied regarding mean life and half life so mean life is given as first half life is given as half life is indicated by t is equal to 0.693 divided by lambda and mean life is given by tau is equal to 1 by lambda combining these two equations we will get t is equal to 0.693 tau so this is what the relation between mean life and half life mean life and half life that is t is equal to 0.693 tau so remember this is what the relation between mean life and half life in the next thing in the next thing we will see ಈಗ ನಮಗೆ ರೇಡಿಯೋ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತು ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೇಡಿಯೋ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೇಡಿಯೋ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಬೀಟಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಗ್ಯಾಮಾ ಗ್ಯಾಮಾ ರೇಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಟ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಹೊರಗೊಂಡವು ಅಥವಾ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ರೇಸ್ ಹೊರಗೊಂಡವು ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ the changes are taking place here not the least energy release are the what will happen we will see if alpha particle one stable unstable nuclei in from heavy unstable nuclei in from alpha particle over a one day the part where a not the key we will see that is called as alpha b that is called as alpha b so alpha dk alpha dk at the end of the alpha particle for a one ಸಿ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ರೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಬೀಟಾ ರೇಸ್ ಬೀಟಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮಾ ರೇಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅನ್ನಾಗ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಾಸ್ಲೆಸ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಗ್ಯಾಮಮ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅನ್ನಾಗ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಗ್ಯಾಮಾ ರೇಸ್ನ ಅನ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಡಿ ಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಡಿ ಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಡಿ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ವೇ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಡಿ ಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ರೀ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಾ ಒಂದು ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಹೊರಗೋಯ್ತಪ್ಪ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಡಿ ಕೆ ಈಗ alpha particles have identified as alpha particles now hang identify made kuri alpha particles are nothing but helium nuclei helium nuclei the assume made so alpha particles are nothing but helium nuclei means alpha dk if it is taking place alpha dk agla gatte the pa antara one helium nucleus molecule indra horagunte you can say atom indra horagunte anandanga hoda so here here i will write the general equation first thereafter i will explain the theory in a brief book hang in brief book to go first first you have to write what do you mean by alpha dk alpha dk is a process of emission of alpha particle from the active nucleus is talk to me the general equation is given as if the heavy nucleus is x a z it is giving alpha particle outside alpha dk all the other things part what will form y helium nucleus goes out helium nucleus goes out ill helium nucleus goes out ayitta pa antara a olaga na kadi maktaru z olaga yad kadi maktaru so you have to write here a minus 4 and z minus 2 z minus 2 right so regarding this equation you have to write the itra bagge on sulp new bariyu if an alpha decay takes place if the alpha decay takes place parent nuclei id parent nuclei antu yavudu yavudu decay agala anta nuclei ma parent nuclei antu vi idakke enu antu vi daughter nuclei antu vi idakke alpha particle antu vi ma during this reaction some energy is also liberated energy is also liberated that is what q is so during the alpha decay during the alpha decay parent nuclei losses four mass number and two atomic number whatever the daughter nuclei formed that is that has uh, 
mass number four less than mass number four less than the parent and uh, atomic number two less than the pair. So this is the thing you have to write. In and after the in and loss again, you have to write. Right? So during alpha decay, during alpha decay, the, whatever the daughter daughter nuclei form that has four numbers, four mass numbers less than the parent and two atomic number less than the parent. You have to write and some energy is liberated during this. Some energy is liberated during this. So this is what the Q is. This is what the Q is. <coughs> this is what the Q is. So, this is regarding, so example for the alpha decay is uranium 238 undergoing the alpha decay, when an alpha decay goes out, it forms a thorium, thorium 234, 90. Here you can see, in the mass number 238 AP, alpha decay as good, the mass number becomes 234, 4 less. And the atomic number initially it is 92 after alpha decay the atomic number becomes 90 and certain amount of it is generated right and similarly similarly here in second example palladium undergoing the alpha decay palladium has parent has 208 mass number after alpha decay it becomes 204 and the atomic number 84 after uh, alpha decay it becomes 82 and a certain amount of energy is in so remember remember this nucleus is parent nucleus parent nucleus or you can say parent element and this is daughter nucleus so remember these points so whatever the form after the alpha decay or beta decay or gamma decay so form in a daughter and called as the parent. So here we have got Q. Q, Q, Q So Q energy liberated during during the alpha D. And remember here, always the mass of products, mass of the product, sum of mass of the product is always less than the mass of mass number of or you can say mass of the parent entity. So what is this Q value? What is this Q or Q value? Q value. <coughs> See, mass energy and no KD. You in the mass energy and KD. Here, Q value is the difference of mass energy of the uh, uh, parent element, parent element to the mass energy of the product parent element to the product so it is the difference between mass energy of mass energy of <coughs> reactant or you can say parent minus mass energy of product mass energy of product. So this is what the Q value is. So Q value can also be written as Q is equals to from this equation I will write I will write parent of variable M M X minus M Y plus mass of alpha mass of alpha multiply by C square multiply by C square. This is what the Einstein's equation M C square. So we do mass mass of the parent minus mass of the products mass energy we are calculating so here c square idu yava use madbekri when mass is in terms of kg kg if you take the mass in terms of amu then you can write mass x minus mass y plus mass alpha directly whole multiply by 931 mega electron volt mega electron so this is regarding the alpha decay. This is regarding the alpha decay. So let me let me recall it. Let me recall it. Alpha decay. Alpha decay. Uh, it is a process of emission of alpha particles from the parent nuclei. It is a three parent nuclei were in the mass number not very much. Proton number yard. So this is what the equation, general equation is. And example 
these are the example you can explain the example also uranium 238 when it undergoes alpha decay it forms thorium 234 and with the emission of helium nucleus and certain amount of energy this is what the q value is q energy so q value or q energy can be defined as defined as it is a mass of mass of uh, you can say mass energy of parent minus mass energy of product so this is what the basic equation and you can calculate if the given mass is there so this is regarding the <coughs> So next we will see beta decay. Beta decay, uh, beta particles and rain go to the that is uh, the electrons. So during beta decay, during beta decay, uh, in this process, beta decay is a process of emission of either electron or positron. E beta decay varaga, positron ray emission authority atwa electron ray emission authority. So remember during this one, positron. Positron or electron get emitted. So remember, beta decay varaga. Positron ray emit alvodu, athwa electron ray emit alvodu. If the electrons are emitting, get emitted, then it is called negative beta emission, or you can say negative beta decay, positive beta decay if it is a positron is emitted. So electron if now hang denote the part theory of E minus 1 0 that is positron can be written part theory e plus 1 0 so remember this one while writing the equation you need this electron can be indicate part theory e kalag minus 1 by 3 mag 0 by 3 and then you positron by 3 kalag plus 1 by 3 e mag 0 by 3 so let us see what if the electron emission get expressed electron emission here not the electron emission are let us see what if the electron emission takes place? Electron emission, if the electron emission is takes place, I will write the equation first. Now the equation is very and we will the explanation. We will get the clear picture after writing the equation. If the parent nucleus is x, a, z undergoes the electron emission, it forms the daughter nuclei as y, a, and here electron is getting emitted. Electron is getting emitted. If electron is emitted, Z y is equal plus one, and here anti neutrino is also emitted. So this is what the equation is. Hang your three, then. Hang your three. If an electron is get emitted from the nucleus, nucleus, a or any change I get, a doesn't change. A means what? The mass number. Mass number change I get. Mass number does not change, but atomic number. Atomic number increased by one. Yavaga electron emission. Aga. Electron emission other mass number change of the hang you with but <coughs> proton number or you can say atomic number is increased by one. So this is all the basic equation for this. You can explain this. You can explain this if the nucleus or you can say material undergo the beta decay, then its mass number remains same, but atomic number increased by one along with the electron one anti neutrino this is called the anti neutrino the neutrino anti neutrino is emitted anti neutrino is emitted so this are the basic equation is for example if you take example thorium 234 thorium 234 90 undergoing beta decay and forms pa <clears throat> 234 91 plus electron plus 1 anti neutron. You can see here mass number does not change, but whereas atomic number increased by 1. Atomic number increased by 1. So, this is all the example is you can explain this one or you can also write the theory regarding this. See, this is all the basic equation or you can say general equation in the general equation, I think, and this is what the example is. Illi electron bit the matondo particle emit akatri that is called as anti neutrino. But question comes, question comes, these all decay, all you can say alpha rays, beta rays, gamma rays, you yell up, nucleus will get more But nucleus will electron you there. How this electron goes out if it is not present in the electron? For that, you have to remember during electron emission, during electron emission. 
न्यूट्रॉन प्रेजेंट इन न्यूट्रॉन प्रेजेंट इन न्यूक्लियस इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू वन प्रोटॉन एंड वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इल ये ना अंतिम रहता हूँ ना ड्यूरिंग दिस एमिशन वन द न्यूट्रॉन ये तो इन दो न्यूक्लियस वो इन दो वन न्यूट्रॉन प्रोटॉन आई कन्वर्ट आकर थी मत वन इलेक्ट्रॉन आई कन्वर्ट आकर थे दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज फॉर्म प्लेन इलेक्ट्रॉन फॉर्म है ता अधू एमिट आकर था अधू एमिट आकर था एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस ऑल दिस थिंग्स वन एंटी न्यूट्रॉन इज आल्सो फॉर्म सो वन न्यूट्रॉन इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू वन प्रोटॉन प्लस वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड आल्सो एंटी न्यूट्रॉन सो दिस इज टेक्स प्लेस इनसाइड ऑफ न्यूक्लियस सो व्हाट पॉइंट्स यू हैव टू ऐड हियर फर्स्ट यू हैव टू डिफाइन व्हाट इज बीटा डी बीटा डी के इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ एमिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन और पॉजिट्रॉन बीटा डी के आद रहे ना सपोज ना एक्सापल आफ इलेक्ट्रॉन तक इलेक्ट्रॉन इमिशन आदर ऐन इफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एमिटेड फ्रॉम दि पेरेन्ट न्यूक्लिया दे डॉटर न्यूक्लियस डॉक्टर न्यूक्लियस मास नंबर डज नाट चेंज मास नंबर आफ डॉक्टर न्यूक्लियस डज नाट चेंज बट द अटोमिक नंबर ईज इनक्रीज बै वन अलॉंग वि दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन एंटी न्यूट्रीनो आलो फॉर्म एंड ड्यूरींग दिस प्रोसेस ड्यूरींग दिस प्रोसेस इन द न्यूक्लियस in the nucleus the neutron is converted into one proton and one electron by this equation so this points you have to add in your theory so this is regarding electron emission so this is regarding the electron emission <coughs> so, uh, in the beta decay one more one more possibility is there the electron possibility not the possibility of positron emission positron means positron can be Denoted by e plus one zero. Positron limit agar ye na kula. If the parent element if I take x a z, it is get emitted the positron. Positron then mass number does not change. Mass number change agar kula. But atomic number atomic number is reduced by one along with the emission of neutrino. So this is what the neutrino is. neutrino so during the positron emission during the positron emission mass number of the daughter nucleus is same as the parent nucleus but atomic number is reduced by one reduced by one for example if you take example tagondre paathara example example if sodium 22 11 He is getting uh, undergoing the beta decay. It forms an E twenty two ten plus a positron get emitted and a neutrino is get emitted. So in an other way, you can see mass number remains same, but the atomic number is reduced by one as the equation reduced by one along with the emission of a positron and a neutrino. Neutrino, but Positrons are also not exist in the nucleus. Positron and nucleus are given only. Nucleus only. Here, what I am talking about. This reason can be explained by. In the end, after clear to that, what will happen here is, in the nucleus, proton is there. That proton is converted into one uh, neutron and one positron. So that is given by the equation. That is given by the equation. One proton. Is undergone the conversion of one positron and one neutron plus one neutrino. So this is what happening in the nucleus because of this. This neutrino, this uh, positron goes out along with the neutrino, and the neutron remains in the nucleus. So this is regarding the emission of positron. Emission of positron. <coughs> so this completes today's class uh, in the next class we will see the uh, gamma decay and also about nuclear reactions so i'll stop here and we'll continue in the next class and thank you